Good evening, and welcome to the 2020 induction ceremony for our JFK chapter of the National Honor Society and the Spartan National Junior Honor Society. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The high school functions and grows as a result of the support that we receive from our Board of Education, our district administrators, Central High School staff, the community, you as parents, and of course the families that support our students. Tonight, in support of our Honor Society members, we welcome, recognize, and thank our district supporters. Dr. Donna Desiato, Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Thomas Neville Dean, Deputy Superintendent of Schools. Mr. Douglas Mohorder, Executive Director of Employee Engagement and Accountability. Mr. Shane Hacker, Executive Director of Curriculum, Learning and Assessments. Mrs. Michelle Geip, Director of Teaching and Learning. Mrs. Kate Skane, Executive Director of School Business Administration. Mr. Kieran O'Connor, Director of Planning, Development, and Technology. We thank our Board of Education for their support. Mrs. Debbie Collett, President. Mr. D. Paul Waltz, Vice President. Mrs. Lori Aird. Mr. John Albanese. Mrs. Susan Kane. Mrs. Tracy Callahan. Mrs. Leah Cushing. Mrs. Kay Gallery, and Mrs. D. Seaman. My administrative leadership team, assistant principals, Ms. Killens, Mrs. Trivison as, as our associate principal, and Mrs. Crystal Ward as, a, as another assistant. Mr. Adam Shatraw, coordinator of the Early College High School, and Mrs. Randy Ludwig, coordinator for college and career readiness. All of our teachers and counselors, as well as our Honor Society advisors, Mrs. Katie Fulner and Ms. Kristen Van Beveren, our National Junior Honor Society advisors, Mr. Stephen McSweeney and Mrs. Jamie Mock. Our keynote speaker, Mr. Bill Brazil, and our educator honoree, Mr. Joe Mussolino. And last but not least, Mr. Ferris for his virtual taking for you to see this at home. We thank all of everybody for their support of our students. Tonight, we induct students into the National Honor Society and the National Junior Honor Society. It was founded in 1921 by the National Association of Secondary School Principals to create an organization that would recognize and encourage academic achievements while developing other characteristics essential to citizens in a democracy. These ideals, character, scholarship, leadership and service are as important today as they were in 1921. Induction into the National Honor Society and Junior Honor Society is both an honor and a commitment. An honor because the criteria are rigorous and a commitment because the members complete service activities and are permanently extending their qualities that earn them a selection to the Honor Society. To be eligible for National Honor Society membership one must meet high standards for character, scholarship, leadership, and service. Students, you will understand the importance of these four qualities as they will guide you and help you develop to be the best person that you can be. If I could make an additional Honor Society characteristic that I would want each and every one of you to develop, that would be to have balance in life. Character, scholarship, leadership, service, and balance. How do you keep the balance in your life when you have so many demands at school, at home, and in your own lives as you figure out the who, the what, and how and why you want to be? And what school or college or career pathway will you take to find your independence, success, and happiness? You are all leaders in your own right. You have proven yourself in your ability to lead by example be it here at Central High School, at home, or elsewhere. Continue to develop your character and give back to your community and family. Study hard, 
work hard, play hard, and balance. The ultimate benefit and goal that you should have are to balance all of this in mind and to enjoy life. You are being inducted tonight because you have proven to be student leaders through your daily school life. I challenge each and every one of you to think about what you can do to use your skills to help improve our ESM Central High School community by contributing and balancing all that you do. Be extraordinary. Congratulations to each of you on your induction and accomplishments. You have much more to do as long as you can find your balance and focus on being extraordinary. It is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Desiato to address our 2020 inductees. Congratulations Spartans on your induction into the National Honor Society and the National Junior Honor Society. We are proud of your accomplishments your achievement in scholarship, demonstration of leadership, commitment to service, and the development of your character are absolutely essential in your success, not only in high school, but certainly in life. We wanna congratulate you tonight. For those of you who are being inducted into the National Honor Society, you have gone the extra mile and you have demonstrated that for your high school years and beyond, you will always be recognized in achieving one of the most prestigious recognitions that you can in high school in being inducted into the National Honor Society. For those being inducted into the National Junior Honor Society, you've set the bar high as you enter high school and we applaud you. We recognize your accomplishments this year and we encourage you to continue on in this pathway so that you too will re will achieve induction in the future into the National Honor Society. We congratulate and thank your parents, grandparents, and all your family members for their support throughout your education at ESM. We recognize and appreciate and also thank your teachers, counselors, and administrators in helping to prepare you for this accomplishment. Congratulations, we celebrate you and we wish you the best for the remainder of this school year and beyond. Congratulations. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to introduce Joe Mussolino, or Moose, as many know him by. He was nominated by the current NHS members as our faculty speaker. Moose has been a teacher at ESM for 26 years. He is an integral member of the Business and Technology Department at the ESM High School. He has a larger than life personality and teaches about his subject very passionately, making him a favorite teacher for many. May I introduce Joe Mussolino. Good evening, everyone. What to speak about when you're asked to do these lectures or speeches, you always wonder what would be the best thing to say. And my answers always come from the same people, my own students. The energy I derive from them can be explained. During this pandemic, I've been speaking to them on the phone, and they've talked to me about how sometimes they even think their class is cursed. They started with 9-11, it seemed, and the aftermath of that. After that, there was a financial crisis. Some of them had to leave their home buildings because of construction, and now they're ending with this. So I ask, the, I ask you all not to be melancholy, because these obstacles actually have been lessons that you have learned, building you and giving you the character that is one of the fundamental reasons you have won the National Honor Society or inducted into the National Honor Society. Okay. There's just no time for melancholy. The obstacles of yesterday shouldn't be thought about that way. They should be thought of as lessons. And you should never, if I can give you any advice, let yesterday get in the way of your tomorrows. These obstacles have led you to the scholarship. The scholarship and the obstacles have built your character. And you're giving back that character already to the community. And you will continue to do so in the future. So I ask you to think positively continue on, strive as you have been all these years, be happy, stay healthy, and enjoy the time you have with your friends and your family now.
better things are coming, I'm sure of it. I want to thank you very much for asking me to speak. I'm humbled and honored to do so. Best wishes to everybody and congratulations on receiving being inducted into the National Honor Society. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce our community speaker, Bill Brazil. Bill Brazil is not only a revered member of our community, but he is also the mayor of Manoa, New York. Bill has many connections to East Syracuse Manoa High School, including helping facilitate students' hands-on experience in partnership with SUNY ESF, and he is an esteemed member of the ESM Wall of Distinction displayed at our high school. Please welcome Bill Brazil as he shares his thoughts and experiences with the four pillars of National Honor Society. Thank you for inviting me today during these unprecedented times. In a way, it has been a great learning experience. We've all had to learn how to do things differently in our day-to-day -day lives. We have been forced to think outside the box and to come up with creative ideas and innovative ways to live our lives. We've had to show leadership. We've had to rise up and volunteer and put the needs of others ahead of ours. As I was preparing for my speech, I realized that back in 1976, in this room, my junior year, I decided to make a difference. It was a class assembly to talk about different events that we as a class wanted to organize for the year. The meeting was a disaster, and I decided instead of complaining, I would get involved and try to make changes. In my junior year, I had a teacher that influenced me and gave me the desire to get involved. His name was Mr. Noel Van Swall. I was in his 11th grade Excel history class. Now, Mr. Van Swall was a character. He was about six foot six, had a crazy haircut, and actually, if you're familiar with the Seinfeld TV show, I realize now he looked a lot like Kramer. He was outside the box in his teaching style, and he challenged you to think outside the box. In 1976, there was a presidential election that year, Jimmy Carter was running against President Gerald Ford. Mr. Van Swall was able to get us to meet all the candidates that year, and I was in all of the political process. At the end of my junior year, I ran for student council president for my senior year, and that started my political career. I went to college, continued getting involved, and worked a lot on local campaigns. Now, in the meantime, I got married, started a family, volunteered for over 25 years in the community. Coaching, serving on various boards. I served on the board of ESM Youth Sports, became president. I also was president of the ESM Sports Booster Club. And during that time, I also became associate judge of the Village of Manoa, which I served for 10 years. And then after that, I resigned as judge to run for the village board. And I, was, I ran for the village board and won, and I was deputy mayor for 12 years, and now I'm in my second four-year term as mayor. I've been, a, I've, been a lot, I've been in a lot of leadership roles, and this is a quote by Ronald Reagan that I really relate to. Leadership is not just about doing great things yourself. It's about inspiring great things in every person around you. I find that is what I strive for. On every board or organization I've been involved with, it's not about what I have done, but what we have done together. As I was doing all this, I was earning a living as an outside sales rep. I've been in sales for over 30 years. Sales is something I love to do. As in everything I do, I'm a problem solver. Every day I'm in a different situation looking for solutions for my customers. You need to strive to be a lifelong learner, to be able to help your customers and to be successful. You need to have inspiration for what you do. Work needs to inspire you, and you need to work hard to become the best you can be at something, no matter what you do in life. Here are a few rules I believe are important to live by. Give credit, take the blame. Be confident and humble at the same time. After writing an angry email, read it carefully and then delete it. Play with passion, or not at all. And lastly, never turn down a breath of it. So yes, I believe all my success started at ESM in this auditorium on a day in January in 1976. 
I wish everyone the best of luck and be inspired to find what motivates you to be successful. One last quote, and this is something I have on my desk, and it reminds me of everything that is important. There is no limit to what a person can do or where they can go if they don't mind who gets the credit. And that was by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Thank you very much and have a great evening. Character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that with out which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, once developed, grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be, in reality, what we wish to appear to others to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one of the greatest elements in life, which can lead to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understanding the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is a sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entirety of the student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Emily Andrews Rhiannon Axton Tierra Bauer Haley Brokowski Sarah Martin Brefka Adriana Bird Henry Callahan Brady Patrick Campbell Mackay Anthony Carroll Alex James Cavanaugh Benjamin Clappen Veronica Close Molly Comstock Sophia Rose Costello, Kiera Crone, Evan DeBurgis, Isaac Delgado Munez, Clara D'Souza, Charles Russell Deu Jr., Emma Donnie, 
Olivia English, Alessandra Fernandez, Parker Riley Farrow, Jordan Fernstein, Brian W. Gailey, Parker Gamble, Mary Grace Kaleski, Olivia Rose Goff, Amina Hajaverik, Nivia Harris, Kyra Johnson, Zach Johnson, Gabriella Kiggins, Caleb Crawl, Rachel Ladd, Matthew Ledoux, Behudin Malkik, Kaylee Malouf, Luke Mancini, Emily Murnane, Riley Murphy, John Anthony Naprakowski, Jenna Nisi, Zoe Nixon, Justin Oakley, Caitlin O'Reilly, Oceana Panic Rutledge, Lauren Payne, Lilia Pina, Joshua Penoyer, Natalie Peterson, Caleb Pfeiffer, Angelina Nicole Pacero, Mackenzie Praxel, Gabriella Percheroni, Julian Randall, Jaden Raymond, Ariana Reed, Benjamin Michael Richardson, Hadley Rosenall, Cassidy Shiftick, Joshua Spilka, Owen C. Stab, Sarah Stadelman, Carter Stewart, Bella Sylvester, Alaya Thomas, Brianna Warner, Stephen Winnens, Maximus Wonderlich, Congratulations to all our new nominees. I'm Eric Callahan, I'm president of the National Honor Society, and uh, here's the pledge. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been elected, striving in every way, by work and deed, to make its ideals the ideals of my school and of my life. Thank you.
Faiza Badani Savannah Bab Megan Barone Benjamin Becker Ethan Beckman Nicholas James Brown Chloe Elizabeth Buchko Dominic Caruana Ben Cicerini Sophia Sienna Conzone Anastasia Costco Kate Cox Mallory Kramer Jaden Christopher Ellis Jonathan Eschbacher Matthew Farnsworth Emily Ferns Eleanor Fink Victoria Lynn Gall Gordon Daniel Gallery Jessica Griffith Nira Hasanovic Taylor Hoffman Julieta Hoffman Tuff Jenna Ann Holmes Jada Kalise Hudgens Hannah Ray Holchinski Amina Herdick Connor Jacobs Emma Jaquin Iron Jefferson Haley Jones Melissa Krakutovic Mora Leib Michael Anthony McComb Kylie Mapstone Anna Memzevic Nathan Moran Max Newman Olivia Nicene Jonas Ostrel Sarah O'Neill Jenna Orlando Kate Lynn Elizabeth Ott Drury Patel Elizabeth Phillips Alex Post Nathan Polano Natalie Quince Morgan Ransom Stephen Ryle Juliana Rukisho Mary Roach Jack Satterley Anu Schofield Laura Sitnik Zachary James Smith Aiden Sternberg Alana Gail Sullivan, Emma Tellerico, 
Lily Tellerico. Elena Marie Vespi, Veronica Zaff, and Eva Zelinas, and Wanjin Zhang. Thank you to all of the new members and congratulations.